Greek with the charge. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I start this. Um, well, uh, this extends to I think I was a bit chaotic in the approach and I had too much coffee, so I, <laughs> <laughs> I tried to organize my, my thoughts. First of all, I had a very, very, very big surprise. With, I didn't know what to expect. It's uh, Maison uh, de Parfum Berry, or Berry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Maison de Parfum Berry. Most of the perfumes are made by Anatole Breton, a perfumer which I love. And they range from very easy and soft perfumes to the most crazy conceptual ones. I like the crazy ones, of course. And they have one perfume which is called La Conquérante, I think. Um, it's all the heights, all the heights, all the heights. It's, it's even very aggressive in all the heights, but it's such an uh, interesting experience. And another one is called La Cathedral. Uh, I think that they went to a cathedral and they uh, tried to recreate the scent of a wet <coughs> stone from an old cathedral. And it's so realistic and interesting. I don't know if if it's very wearable, I have to confess, I, I didn't try it on my skin, but it's really good. And they also have another one, I think it's La Liberatrice, which is a very good essay on cumin. It's, uh, I don't know if it's inspired in Eau d'Hermès, but it reminds me of Eau d'Hermès. And it's really very sensual, and on the, when you use cumin in a fragrance, it could be a disaster. And this is not a disaster, it's very good, but almost to the point of dangerous. It's very, very nice. Maison de Parfum Berry. Some of them are made by uh, Thierry Blondeau, met, but uh, most of them are made by Anatole Le Breton. So this is my, my biggest surprise. Um, something that I absolutely loved was Rituale uh, from uh, Mendito Rosa. Yes. Yes, that's very, very good. And it's my style of perfume, actually. It's made by Amélie Bourgeois, one of my favorite perfumers. It's based on a note of Narcissus, but then it has a honey, a honey element and animalic base notes like uh, Hyracium, which not she... Too not too much. Not too sweet. Yes. It's just like an adventure. So yeah, you, yeah. You go and pick up notes. Mm -hmm. And it, and it, it has... And they just feel very Yeah, warm. it's a nice balance. and. Well, it with a touch of vintage because of Narcissus, I think Narcissus is one a vintage flower, I think. And it's interesting because she already used Heracium in Sogno Reale, and then she she repeated it in in Rituale with great results. So this is. What something. about another one, the Luca Maffei one? Luca Maffei did something um, which I think is a bit safe with a new material, but it smells like incense and something very ancestral. Uh, it's a very good fragrance and very interesting on the skin, but, well, I... I like it actually, yes. even, maybe even better than the, the one that you mentioned. Mm. And it's <coughs> not that incense to me, it's no. more spicy peppery in a multifaceted mm. pepper. It's, it's very good, and yes, you have to, like with the first one, you have to smell and smell and, mm -hmm. and ex explore. Uh, and by the way, we have a guest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have yeah. Barbara here. Hello. And maybe she will share something that she mentioned. It's nice. Yeah, so uh, my visit to uh, Essence is kind of divided because on the one hand, I wanted to share some of my fragrances with uh, you know distributors, retailers, perfume fans, but also because I'm such a huge perfume fan, I smelled as many things as I could handle. Um, so my line is Eris, and uh, yes. Belle de Jour uh, was a finalist in the Art and Olfaction Indie category, so that was very exciting. But um, the fragrances that I, I, didn't, I couldn't smell everything, but the fragrances that I did smell that I liked, one of my competitors in that category, I'm just going to be <laughs> honest, Atelier PMP Anti Anti reminded me of a kind of 70s fragrance, like floral, green, fresh, um, it's kind of exciting uh, floral for me. And then Nishan, I don't remember what the musk is, the name, but beautiful animalic fragrance. 
cool life. Um, I discovered the uh, perfumer Luca Maffei, Luca Maffei. and it's just yeah, out so of nowhere. Nice. I really like both CZM and Septiem, um, especially the iris ones, yeah. uh, CZM. Uermi, I love this concept of uh, sort of conceptual fabric and materials translated into scent. And latex is my favorite, and of course Antoine Lee did mm -hmm. that one. Have you smelled Robert Piguet? I didn't the smell the new one. I'm because I, I have a feeling that you would like it. I'm going to check that one out tomorrow. It's uh, based on iris. Mm -hmm. It's very novel. Mm -hmm. It's not that earthy, but it's earthy. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's very calm, very balanced. Um, but dark. I wouldn't say dark. For me, it's quite gray. But the the, bit, mm. the woods. The woods. Yes. I don't know. Well, I've, it's very I comfortable. Love, I love yeah. Very comfortable and very unisex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I love Piquet, mm -hmm. and I haven't really ventured into their new scents, but you have to tomorrow. I will. <laughs> so just a few more. Um, <coughs> Parfum Cartana. I love the Les Potions Betal, particularly Digitalis and Mandrake. Mm -hmm. um, Mandrake is. Bad. It's nice, right? It's yeah. kind of fruity smelling, yeah. but it still has an edge to it. Um, of course, okay. SP Private Perfume with Miguel Matos. I love Lisbon Blues. It's like energy in the in a minor key. So it moves kind of from brightness to shadows. And that's the movement that I really like. And then finally, um, Nobile 1942, again Luca Maffei, the 1001 fragrance, which is like this beautiful uh, embodied orange spice. Yeah, it starts, for me it starts with spice, with a lot of cardamom, mm -hmm. and then, unexpectedly, uh, citruses appear. Yeah, yeah. And it, 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 it gets lighter, mm -hmm. you know, it gets wings. That's very strange that they go after. Yeah. All right, so what uh, Mask Milano, I think, we should uh, mention. Of course, yeah, yeah sure. Because actually, uh, <coughs> wait, ah, I, yeah, have yeah. A, I have a sample, so I will say. Uh, we were with Sergei, our, our genius, Sergei. Uh, yeah, uh, Sergei. exploring <laughs> this. And Join us, Sergei. <laughs> and us, really, uh, everyone were talking that uh, Times Square is really strange for few. Yes, I can't say so. Uh, I like it. Yeah, I like it. So uh, Sergey <laughs> said that it is strange. Um, I yeah, <laughs> you, you agree. So okay. Anyway, it's strange or not? Uh, it depends really. But it's very good. It's uh, it needs certainly it needs time to to find it to out appreciate. to appreciate it. Um, maybe it can be quite tricky from the very beginning, but uh, it's not so uh, and. What's interesting, they have uh, at the same time two different perfumes. Mandala is rather quiet and it can even seem simple. But at the same time, yeah. Quiet? Co I mean, no, it's it, calm. It, 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 yeah. Uh, it's comparing, calm, but yes. It's complex. It's very complex. It's yeah. So that's, uh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, in, its skin. in its skin. And what I like is yeah. the metallic quality of the myrrh that Christian Carbonell used. Mm -hmm. It has this. But not too loud, but something metallic in that myrrh, and I think it brings so much interest to yeah. the fragrance. Also, there is a Gavana, absolutely yeah, yeah. exceptional. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's why uh, if you try Mandela and think, oh, it's just another instance, and you're, you are wrong, mm -hmm. uh, just retry it and try it uh, until you like mm -hmm. it. Uh, with Times Square, it's the same thing, but Times Square is really very bright. That's why it attracts attention it's from the uh, very beginning. Very, I mean, the perfume yeah, and is it, but it attracts yeah, can I say yeah. needs uh, I sprayed it mm -hmm. uh, exactly three minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And Times I need, n yes, I don't need more time. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with it yeah. because it's absolutely fabulous. It's fantastic. It's really Times very square. strange, yes, mm -hmm. but it's, strange it's really, ex and it's very it's like fabulous. It's exquisite. First mm -hmm. of all, sophisticated in elaboration, and you feel it from the very beginning. And who's the don't perfume? be afraid, maybe you don't need uh, too uh, much uh, time uh, to, to be in love with it, because it's really nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's great. And for me, it's, it has some uh, common or maybe links with 100% uh, of love. Uh, uh, yeah, Sophie yeah, Grossman. Yeah. 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 Sophie Grossman. And, and it has business. a little bit uh, rooted in the same place in IFF. Maybe. Rose, mm -hmm. chocolate, mm -hmm. and uh, sandalwood. Oh, no, not sandalwood. Uh, rose and chocolate and musk. Mm -hmm. So 
I think that they are common in this strange feeling of uh, love-hate mm -hmm. uh, yeah. relation to the perfume. Matt will love it, but if you come to common person in, uh, say, Sephora or mm -hmm. any other... Yeah, they wouldn't understand, they that's would for sure. It's kind of what, what like, like, like not like a mess. What is that? Right? So how do you, you know yeah, it's a trend of, yes. uh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, so what, what, we, what we had, incense like a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Different yeah. to the yeah. rose, as you, uh, as you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I've also noticed a little bit of the beginning of green uh, trend. Mm -hmm. Green, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, with Manta Vichosa last year, and uh, with the mint, which is quite unusual. And this year, the Rio d'Orange by H&M Lover oh. is also a green rose with a mint uh, very present in the perfume and also also, also some other green fragrance uh, in Chabot I think mm -hmm. and it's a little bit uh, beginning shy, t shy trend but around green nuts mm -hmm. yeah, that's very good that you mentioned it's one of the greenest probably at the, the show it's you are some unlikely that the fragrance uh, yeah. 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 Uh, it's very really mm -hmm. good yeah, yeah I think it's, it, it's good mm -hmm. yeah. and yeah, Tuberose right. is also quite green this Tuberose, time yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the roses, good the roses. Not, and not a lot of Okay, I mean, the not all the tuberoses. Uh, so Cecile's one uh, for but everybody. There are a lot of them. It's yeah. not, no, no, uh, Elaine at all that uh, tuberoses are green, so I think that 50 50, because mm -hmm. for example, Cecile's one is classical one. Violets are green. Violets <laughs> 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 are green. Because the green is tuberoses. Violets are complected with violet leaves. Yeah. Must usually. So, uh, can, yeah, sorry. Uh, the green tuberose is uh, in the very long awaited perfume by uh, Naomi Gudzir that uh, was in production for four years uh, by Isabelle Doya, and she made it really very in a very beautiful way. Uh, to be short, to, to say in, in a couple of words, uh, I just told when I just sniffed this, I told that. It's somewhere in be my first reaction was it's somewhere in between for, uh, classical guitar and uh, to come song mm -hmm. because uh, because they really wanted to make the classical accord uh, with this uh, plastic touch so they even call it silica plants the installation that was accompanying this uh, fragrance it's it's different really mm -hmm. and it's very beautiful mm -hmm. absolutely worth trying and it's and what about orientals and wood in oh. particular? <laughs> there is less wood than every year till, till now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, many oriental brands uh, goes to classical. Yeah, and, and, and European yeah. wine. Yes, yeah. yeah. so so Russia, yeah. as they take to the market, I think they go to yeah. the wood, and now they say oh, we have yeah. to make some mix between mm -hmm. classical and wood. So yeah, but yeah. Are really interesting wood like. Wood tonic. Yeah. Oh wood yeah. From the case. Nice the and cozy yeah. yeah. wood. I mean, very, very. I don't know. It's it's, it's, it's very unusual. Mm -hmm. I would wear it. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> fresh <laughs> and uh, airy wood. Yeah. For, and for wood me, it was like wood. a revelation because it's and really something new. And you smell the cucumber also. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, talking about the uh, rejection of wood, like the uh, as as a main component, we have even. The whole house, the house of wood. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, it's not, wood is it's name. not like rejection. It's just yeah. he. They just uh, moving in another direction. Wood, wood is just uh, it's it's um, stood shape. in a row with the rest of ingredients. Mm -hmm. Just uh, like yes. another oh. color component. Mm -hmm. So, so what we are not crazy. We're yeah. just using it. Yeah. So this is the approach from Andrea Casotti from the house of wood <laughs> that I mm -hmm. decided to talk because he in each interview he mentions. We have wood, we consider wood, but we use it in a different way that uh, recent mm -hmm. mode trend. Oh, it's like amorud, I also yeah. try yeah, something yeah, there. Yeah, yes, yeah. amorud, mm -hmm. which is all of the fragrances have wood, but you sometimes you can't even smell it yeah. at the first time. You have to look for it. To be used as an element, uh, animal, not just as civet in yes. the other yes. times. Yes, part of the structure. Could be good. Yes. Yes. yes, just a touch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. What, but speaking about green, I have to speak about this because um, it's not something new in the fragrance uh, exhibitions, but it, it's only going to the market next month or now. It's Le Sillage Blanc by Lucita, 
and it's one of the perfumes that I will have for the whole my whole life. It's inspired by Bondi, and yeah, did she, did she say it's inspired? She, by yes, Bondi? she says that. And when you say one of the greenest fragrances, I think you can, it's not possible to go, go any green any greener than that. It's a green leather shipper with a, uh, an inspiration in vintage leather shippers like Bondi and Cabochat, Silence, number ni Chanel number 19. And it's really so gorgeous, so good. And I cannot even explain that. It's galvanum galore. I know, galvanum everywhere. But yeah, yeah. yeah. galvanum everywhere. Yeah. That's yes. what I want to say. It's an explosion of galvanum. It's fresh. It's a little bit austere, like you said. It's a um, reference to the vintage perfumery, and it's really my favorite this year. Uh, I say this year, even though uh, Pixar long, long, uh, presented it in Pity, and now, but she's only launching it now in the, in the market, so really, look for Le Sillage Blanc. It's the name of the perfume. I love it. And also, of course, Quartana, which uh, Barbara already mentioned. Parfum Quartana, Wolf's Bane and Digitalis. I really love this line. Roses. We we have a lot of roses. Roses, day. yes. Yeah. Classic and of this one that's yeah. so classical. Yes. Rose mm -hmm. with uh, some fruity undertone and green with some and yeah some even dried fruitiness in the back. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes, yeah. it's extremely but beautiful. Mine, it's usually for me, it has some like detergent <laughs> cleanness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but very nice. Yes, I mean, it's a, I mean the aldehydes the uh, the uh, give, give that, that effect because it's very sparkling and. Uh, it's also some stuff it's like not, candy. Uh, it's right? not sunny, it's not like, you know, the day on, on the beach, but it feels like, you know, the, the, the beginning of the evening and you're sitting with the, uh, with the champagne mm -hmm. and maybe waiting for something more, I don't know, because it, this fragrance is extremely addictive. If you try it once, you can't resist, you, you, need, you will need this. <laughs> so... <laughs> you're curious. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sold. <laughs> <laughs> we were speaking of florals, and I just have to point this out. Uh, Bella Donna from Jules Maz. Uh, this is a new fragrance created by Luca Maffei. Again, Luca Maffei is big now. And he made such a joyful floral fragrance that reminds me of the joy that we had in 90s perfumery, and we don't get any more, I think. It's uh, magnolia, uh, centered in magnolia, it's not just a solid floor, but magnolia is very heavy here. Heavy uh, in terms of importance, not the he it's not a heavy uh, fragrance. It's just so beautiful, so joyful, I really love this one. Smell it. Have to smell yeah, it. it's yeah. a very different uh, approach of the tuberose. If you love yeah, tuberose, awesome. yeah, it's and tuberose, you're just a little bit tired of the solid floors, it's maybe the thing we um, are waiting for. Mm. There's also something that I wanted to note. Uh, I've seen that there's a lot of, um, there's some many brands that work now with great perfumers. Mm -hmm. For instance, in Nubali, which is called now Ninomad, work with Annick Manardo, we, who has already worked with Objective Studio Lights here for Close Up. And um, Arides de Benustas uh, works with uh, Nathalie Festaro, which is well known perfumer, mm -hmm. for a perfume a little bit green, a pelagonum, uh, thanks to the geranium, and also a little bit woolly. And I think that's a little bit uh, uh, incursion from the great, great perfumers to the niche that is interesting, is it interesting to mention, I think. Mm -hmm. Thank yes, you. New, yeah, new trade. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have to check yeah. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. it, it's really good. Maybe this one and it's on my plate. Mm -hmm. And also maybe uh, it's worth mentioning because maybe I'm wrong, but uh, it seems You're that... never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it seems that uh, we have a brand that really has uh, not so much attention that mm -hmm. it deserves. Miller uh, Ebertos. So uh, now I, I, I will try to change the situation. Oh, they have those weird uh, yeah, boxes. The boxes. Oh. They are um, <laughs> quite minimalistic. But really yeah. They are really they're numerous, but they are all good. Last mm -hmm. time at Pretty Fragranza, we tried several ones. And this time, uh, finally, they had the boot, separate mm -hmm. boot, and we talked. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I forgot I really, the name. I yeah. really like them too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they are very Parfum Trouvé is my favorite. Really they, I really can't yeah. name my favorite right now because I'm discovering and discovering, like, wow, it's good. Wow, it's good. Yeah. And uh, so they are really, really good. I think they are the most, one of the most stylish mm -hmm. brands. Uh, Presented. And they've been yeah. here quite for a long time, but yeah, they don't get attention. Yeah, that's strange. Yeah. That's really strange. So that's yeah. why I, we, we were not mm -hmm. mentioning them a lot, and it's strange why. Also, there is a bottle of Metal Dawn that yeah. from Art. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, also, it's <laughs> really yeah. very interesting. The, the inspiration is very interesting, and the mm -hmm. perfume is good. Very mm -hmm. good, I think. By the way, I, uh, when I was talking to Nicola, I told that uh, it's one of the most romantic concepts of the, uh, mm. not of the fair, because they're not officially presented, but um, it's a new perfume. Because space is really new romantic, I think. And we mm. will see the, uh, I, I think that in future, near future, we will uh, see the more perfumes cons uh, consecrated to footer, uh, some Futurist mm -hmm. themes uh, because yeah, people are. Did you did you say space? Yeah. Yes, at the same yeah, time. Yes, the, the smell same, of yeah. the metal in the outer mm -hmm. space. Right. So well, it's, it's, it's very interesting that you say that because I work at an advertising agency um, and we are like trend spotting mm -hmm. things yeah. mm -hmm. and space is absolutely the next. I it's mean, somewhere in the yeah. yeah, and it's a weird. It's kind of like a weird retro. Yeah. Um, you know. It's a representation of um, positivity and hope yeah. that yeah. we saw in the 50s. 
-hmm. And we're coming back to it because I think we need <laughs> this yeah, idea that there's another, another place yeah. Yeah. So better than this. So it's some kind of heading to something. Yeah. Uh, no, but I think that's yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. And that's and something also that because it's they call it the um, the hair of the gods because the hair and space and that's also the name also plays on the drug name yeah. that I don't, Amazon. so mm -hmm. the kind of something addictive like this mm -hmm. and the inspiration is very interesting, yeah. I find. Yeah. My another uh, another thought that another fact that I wanted to talk about uh, the this my discovery was uh, the fourth fragrance in uh, Eris line that is nearly ready. <laughs> so maybe Barbara, because I think if you can un unveil something, because it's really worth oh, yeah. uh, waiting if for. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's almost done. We've had a little bit of production issues, but it's a really beautiful. I mean, I guess it's a gourmand, woody fragrance, but it, the thing that I love about it is it's very harmonious and balanced. It starts out very sparkling and, um, you know, spicy. So it's got pepper and ginger and saffron, and then it moves into this like woody um, heart, and then it dries down to castorium and uh, Venezuelan cacao. So it's just, it, it sounds very intense, but I think everyone who's tried it here. It's not intense. It's very because friendly. It's very, it's very Anton Lee, I think, uh, mm -hmm. we should mention, because who knows, Anton Lee should just understand uh, what, what's that. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for... <laughs> <laughs> right. No, because uh, it's uh, one of my patients. I really love Anton Lee, because, uh, so that's why I follow the works. By the way, another work uh, by Anton Lee, unfortunately, it's not on the, in the wide distribution. There was several from Pure Distance. Mm. It's very beautiful, so mm -hmm. I'm really waiting for it to mm -hmm. become yeah. available. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's very good. They promised to launch very it on good. the international market in November this yeah. year. So it's kind of... Like yeah. so but I, know that, I know that Sandrina has something to say, mm -hmm. because she always finds interesting gourmands in the, in the shows. <laughs> yeah. She uh, has something I very nice here. I, I find the uh, new fragrance from Mampas line. And it call, uh, it's called Lab. Um, the whole line is experienced with the hospitality of Arabians. So the Lab fragrance is with, you, you want to try it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's with coconuts and almonds. And it's very, very addictive. <laughs> <laughs> very sweet. <laughs> yeah. And maybe I, I oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> no. So I wanted, I wanted to, uh, to uh, say that um, ma few houses uh, are uh, relaunching uh, their own fragrances in another style, like Isabay. And I don't know if you tried uh, new Isabay Sergalard. Uh, Sergalard is very interesting fragrance because in the base it's uh, their, uh, the most popular gardenia. And, uh, uh, among Gardenia is the tobacco note, so it's very, very uh, addictive and uh, unisex. Mm -hmm. It's good on men and women's skin. And I also saw um, so much easygoing scents. Mm -hmm. If you if you um, try perfumes on, on Exans, you can feel you can feel that many houses play on safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a trend, yeah. That's a trend. Playing on safe and go to Cologne. Oh, really? Yeah. I would say, uh, <laughs> but uh, while we're at it, uh, there are some yeah. of us who likes uh, like safe and col Cologne like yeah. scents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I discovered something that would, uh, I think, appeal not only to the niche audience but also to the um, to the people who like uh, this kind of easygoing, casual, and uh, everyday wearable scents. Uh, the first uh, thing that drew me was the design, because it's very chic, it's very high fashion. The girl who did the visuals worked for Givenchy before, so you can see that in her work. And the line uh, in the house is called Alex Simon, it's a collection of French Riviera. You see how the beautiful packaging, packaging <laughs> is. You have a little bow, like a little tuxedo, so it's really nice. And the fragrances uh, are really... Citrusy, uh, woody, uh, okay, yeah, sharp. Yeah, they, they, uh, they're uh, different. So it's two they, different they, perfumes. They're trying yes. to four, by the way. So. Three, 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 three. And the daytime fragrances as well. But I believe that they are all really uh, likable, and I believe they would appear to a broader audience. 
yeah. not not just the one who are lo looking mm. for something different mm. or arty yeah. or um, mm. conceptual. Mm. So I wanted to, yeah. And the concept is really funny. Around. I mean, it's it it's really interesting. So from the morning we go through the entire day mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. to the evening. That is yeah. romantic, and the evening part is we're trying to show forth. Okay. Yeah, and I believe you can uh, even combine them because they're compatible, in my opinion. Maybe, because yeah. I tried them like uh, several times and I feel like they are Maybe compatible. the light is by Bertrand with everything else because it's so light and powder it could be a good foundation for everything yeah. of the line. All right, guys, yeah. I think that we have to go to the party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, bye. Sunset, <laughs> so bye. 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 <laughs> okay.